congratulations, you've decided to get up today and be productive. Cold weather doesn't mean fishing has to stop. All it means is you get to change your tactics and get yourself on the water. Today we're going to break down how to fish for steelhead or trout. Let's get started. Now there's two basic ways we're going to try and rig up our fly rod or our spinning reel. The first way, we're going to incorporate some sort of strike indicator or bobber. There are many strike indicators that look like little bobbers and we can utilize this method. Or you can incorporate a better option like Umqua's TMC strike detector in red or orange. Now today we have optimal conditions. It's light stain, not too clear, not too dark. We're going to be able to get up close and personal with the fish. Let's get started. A typical trout outfit will run from a four weight to a six weight. However, because we're targeting steelhead today, I'm going to go with a seven weight on this local stream all the way up to an eight to nine weight. The longer the better with your trout and or fly fishing rods. The longer the rod is, the better you are to reach when we high stick or nymph. Running from our loop to loop connection, I'm running right now anywhere from 15 to 25 pound monofilament. You can also run odd X to one X tippet. That runs down to around eight pound monofilament or fluorocarbon or a two X, one X tippet. Now from there, the sky is the limit when it comes to your flies. Today, I'm gonna personally use the Micro Egg by Umqua in a size 16. I'm also gonna tandem that with another egg by Umqua, same color, in a size 10. Now when we add split shot to our line, it's just enough to where we feel the bottom, but also at the same time, it doesn't dredge us through the, the bottom water. Now the first bit of fishing we're gonna do is over a nice solid run. So I'm gonna use an indicator. Just so the camera can see, I'm gonna use this here bubble style indicator. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it with a loop through it, wrap it and voila. Now as we're fishing for steelhead here, every little flip cast up because I'm using split shot isn't gonna be pretty. However, the goal is still to get a dead drift. So what I'm gonna implore here is after I get my cast out, I'm gonna keep my rod tip as high as I need to to allow the strike indicator to stay motionless on the surface as it drifts down and still be able to see any subtle movements from the bottom nicking or ticking of either a fish on the take or bumping along the bottom. Trout and steelhead love to hug the bottom, so that's where we're gonna fish for them first. In addition to slightly higher with that first egg in the water column. The second way we're gonna to rig today is almost like a European style nymphing technique where we're not gonna use an indicator. Instead, we're going to connect our fly either direct line with split shot or what I like to normally do is a, create a tag in and put our split shot on that. We're gonna flip our line up into the current and we're gonna drag bouncing our weights off of the bottom of the water waiting for something to feel different we're also watching the end of our fly line or any marked part of our spinning line for any subtle changes. This is very effective for water such as water right after a waterfall where getting some form of good solid float is tough. So adding a little extra weight and creating the drift yourself often works out in your benefit. 